We're gonna get this rolling. Even fish, fish rock again. You guys, if you want to be off camera, we're going live. Just so you know. All right, Carol, you're on. <laughs> you put us up on the screen, Jason. Oh, there we go. So, Carol, you're on camera. So you can see, guys, where you're at. If you don't want to be on, you want to shift slightly off there, because you can see your mat in the corner right there, the camera. So. I know what I'm doing. Good morning, everybody. I'd like to point out my fancy Seven Summons Lodge Trilogy face mask. Yes, Jason and his wife uh, made these for everybody. Yeah, pretty cool. So I'm rocking one today, at least until I suffocate. Welcome to the Bada Thursday. I hope you guys are all ready to rock and roll. We do have a bunch of people attending today, but as always, Wayne Wonder loves to be on camera. He's a front man, people. He's a front man. Let's go ahead and get our warm up on. Let's pull those shoulders back and pin them down. And let's bend ear to shoulder. Good. Let's take that head now, left to right. And up and down. Excellent. Arms out in front, wrist bent back. Pull those arms in, wrist bent down, back and forth. Yeah, move it what you can, huh? We'll just snap it into place. Don't worry about it. We got you. You are allowed to talk even if you're not on camera. It's okay. Excellent. Let's bring those hands in. Make fists and big circles with those wrists all the way around. Happy July, everybody. We've made it halfway through 2020. Crazy. <laughs> Switch directions. Good, let's go palms up. Bring them towards the face, scoop them through, and flip them out. Palms up, scoop and throw. Good, pinch those shoulder blades, and then round them out. Pinch and round. Good, let's extend those arms out. One high, one low, and bring those fingers towards each other in the back. Out and switch.
Good. Arms down. We're going to shrug one shoulder all the way up towards the ear, and you're going to roll it all the way forward, roll it all the way backwards, and set it down and switch sides. Roll it forward, roll it back. Good, now big circles. And switch directions. Excellent. Arms out, rotate both shoulders forward. Tiny circles, pinching into your back. And switch directions. Keep those thumbs down and shoulders forward. Good, bring those down. We're gonna rotate shoulders over hips. Keep those hips still. Just twist that upper body. Hands on hips, hip circles. Switch directions. Good stuff. All right, guys, we're gonna do our walkout. So if you need that mat, carpeted floor in front of you, bring yourself down. <laughs> And out into that plank position, drop those hips, pull those shoulders back. Can you do any of it on your fists? Does that work? Yeah. So if that doesn't bother you, you want to do that hips, and you can still push those hips towards the ground and arc into your tummy. How's your abs feel today? How do your abs feel today? Huh? Well, I guess we'll have to work them harder today. Good, guys. We're going to pick those hips up. We're going to take one foot and step it outside of that hand. That knee that's up, I want you to push it away from you. And you can drop that inside forearm down for some extra stretch. This mat moves all over. The mass moves on my face. Good. From here, pick that hip up a little bit. Take that foot that's up front. Bring it across the middle. Set it down. And then sit back and down. Again, you can also, if it's easier to sit like this on, on your wrists. Good, let's pick those hips up, bring that leg back, and switch sides. Step up, sink that hip down, push the knee away, and drop that shoulder through. Can you put your hips lower towards the ground? Go ahead and let the back knee set down. 
Mm -hmm. We mainly want this on the inside thigh of that leg that's up front in your adductors. You look like you're about ready to somersault. Good, let's pick that up. Step that leg across the mill. Oh. Next week, I think we'll do these from seated and show you guys variations of these stretches. And that way, some of us can do it this way and some can do it a different way and show how to hit them without. Should be in the back hip. So try to sit, sit back into your left a little bit. Drop into that left hip. Found it. <laughs> Good guys, let's bring that foot back. Then we're gonna walk those feet up, push back into the heels, stretch that last time in the hamstrings while I tie my shoe. Safety first. And push those hips up underneath you. All right, guys, let's start warm up. If you wanna grab a drink, quick drink of water, we got nine Tabatas today, nine. I promise the rookie is super, super hard workout. Welcome to the neighborhood. Just kidding, guys. I'm not kidding, it's super hard. You're not done with the mat. They don't know if we're here or not. Oh, they know. <laughs> I got two students here. I got students back there. We have every right not to be on camera. Wayne just likes to camera hog anyways. He would have stood in front of him. So that doesn't really matter. So we're going to start out with our cardio round for our Tabata. I'm going to get the timer going, guys. Remember, your cardio is your cardio. Whatever works for you to get your body moving. We got our 10-second bell. 10-second bell. Don't start. Anything you want. We'll change it up, but you can do whatever you want. Just get moving. This is that warm up of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for eight rounds. And this is where I start getting beat by my microphone. Remember, we're going to use this first cardio to body to get blood flowing, get the heart pumping, get us ready to work hard today. She is whooping me. The worst is it cracks on my collarbone. I'm going to pass out. Save me on camera. Okay, Wayne. Jason, your new masks are really cool. They are not very breathable for exercise, though.
Almost there, guys. Eight rounds. I'm going to have to switch out now. Oh, that was an eight? Dang it. <laughs> Just you. <laughs> no, he's got the lead. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, 75 seconds. Grab some water. Get ready for your next round. You're on camera. Say hi. <laughs> you might want to do chair on the, the pavement for this one. Just if your shoes are getting wet, you'll be. Well, guys, as fancy as this one is, it's not going to work for a workout. So I'm switching back to the Coog Pride. Oh, that's what oxygen feels like. That's amazing. All right, guys, for first round, you're going to be using your chair. And we're going to do chair hops. Just remember that sitting in that chair towards the front edge. We're going to come out of that chair into a hop and right back into our seat. If you don't want to hop, your body doesn't feel like doing the hops today, just do chair stands. The higher you jump and the harder you jump, the more you're gonna get out of this. So pace your level and what you're capable of. Make sure we're coming through fat, flat feet and we're sitting in our hips. Here we go. One down, seven to go, woo! How those legs, man? <laughs> Is one of the other ones in the back room? Don't go down. Oh, there you go. That's what you want right there. Good fix, sir. St. Shippers Rodeo. <laughs> Just so you know, I lose count usually by like three and so if, if you're keeping count, then we know where we're at. Those are third. Well, Vanny's right, we're halfway. Wayne's quads are awake. He told me his workout yesterday was super easy. And his body feels nothing today. So I designed this workout around Wayne and his wonderful sense of humor. Remember, at any time, if that jumping becomes too difficult, just do your stands. And if the stands are too difficult, just do little half squats. 
and don't go down to the chair. Ten seconds goes by like that, doesn't it? Twenty seconds lasts forever, and ten seconds is never enough. Thank you, Dr. Tabata, for your wonderful creation. If anybody wants to design me a mask with a huge hole in the middle so I can breathe, that would be great. come soon enough all right guys 75 seconds and because i'm super nice we're gonna steer clear of legs for the next few tabatas so get that water make sure you're staying hydrated and oxygenated those lips and we'll get ready for the next one the next one's a shoulder style push-up what you might want to try doing is a normal push-up using your chair where you can keep your wrists straight and just try dropping down like that, where you can hold on this way so your wrist doesn't break. Can you do a push up like that? Just like that, good. Don't wear yourself out. You gotta hold some water coming. The rest of us, if you need to do an alternate to this, that's great. If you have wrist issues and it bothers you, use your chair today, use variables. We're gonna do a shoulder push up. We're gonna stick our butt up in the air and our hands on the ground. And we're gonna do that in 10 seconds. And we're gonna drop our hands, or our head through our hands, guys. So butt in the air, head between the arms. Here we go. Remember to give your arms a break. Don't stay on your wrists or hands. Two down, six to go. That's halfway, four more. If you get to the point where it's too much on your shoulders, just hold in that position, put pressure on the shoulders and do an isometric contraction. If the shoulders don't have anything left to push, Three more. How you doing, boss? Good. How 
you doing, Carol? You're awesome. Two left. Better get that water now. How'd that feel, Annie? Andy did ask for mercy today. And I unfortunately said no. I said it behind my mask, though, so who knows? Was it true? Next exercise in about 40 seconds. We're gonna be on our back, on our mat. So if you wanna make sure you're ready for that, on our back, on our mat. I got you, Kel. Fifteen seconds. I know my daughter's at home working out with us. So, we're gonna do her favorite, the runner crunch. Remember that runner crunch? His arms extended overhead. You're up and you're rotating opposite shoulder to knee and back down. If you have trouble with the runner crunch, just do a regular crunch. Up, twist opposite knee. Up, twist opposite knee. Good. No, you can end down. Doesn't matter where you end. Absolutely. When that bell rings, just stop. You guys know I miss having my daughter here because she always races me and Wayne won't race me. Let it be known that everybody that's here with me today, alive in class, went through a really good core and cardio workout yesterday. So they have every right to be feeling it today on these ones, except for Wayne, because he didn't feel it, he said earlier. So I set this to bot around for 20, guys, instead of eight. Kidding, am I? Don't know around we're on, guys. I lost count. Just keep going to that bell rings. What is it, Carol? We're on seven? Oh, that's nice. If we're not on seven, though, it just messed with us. <laughs> now she's lowballing. <sighs> 
I don't think you're the only one hoping for seven. Nice job, man. Try to twist a little bit at the top. So you turn the face of the knee that's coming up. There you go. It's okay if they're hard. You get stronger. Yeah. It wasn't seven, everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now they're starting to wonder if I really did set it to 20. I didn't. Oh, my tummy's cramping. Yeah, it is. That's eight. That's good, guys. Get that water again. We're going to transition back to a cardio round. Get that heart rate back up and get moving again. So get your water, get your oxygen, and get ready to do some cardio. This is a perfect day for breezy and <laughs> cool. Keeps us cool in this workout. Last week, Wayne and I did it in like the 82 degree direct sun. It was a wetter workout. All right, guys, we're 20 seconds away from cardio round. Remember, you choose your cardio, jumping jacks, jumping rope, running in place, hops, ice skaters. Oh, 10 second warning, it got me, it got me. It got me, Wayne. I'm supposed to follow you. Yeah, I know. What's ice skaters? What'd you stop? Ice oh, you want to do ice skaters? <laughs> Wayne and I'll do a round of ice skaters for warm up. <laughs> We're all about tight tissues, right, Wayne? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Nice to get working.
Almost there, guys. There it was. Nice job, guys. I'm literally gonna hyperventilate with this mascot. The mascot's sweaty, no airflow now. That'd be tough. I don't think I'd be here if I had to wear a mask. All right, guys. This possibly could be your least favorite of your Tabata today. We are on to burpees or up downs or squat thrusts or whatever name you like to call them. Wayne's gonna be a great example today of a modified burpee. So if you're not into going all the way down to the mat, Wayne's gonna be able to show you a modified burpee. If you remember, a full burpee means we're bringing our chest down to the object. If you'd rather do a squat thrust where you don't bring your chest all the way down, that's totally fine too. If you don't wanna hop out and you wanna step out, do that instead. Whatever your level of burpee is what I want you guys to be able to do. 10 seconds, guys. Thank <laughs> you. 
That was it, guys. <laughs> nice work. Get that drink. Our next exercise is an exercise we've done in class before, and it's the dolphin push-up. So this exercise is done in plank position from our forearms and not from our hands, and it's meant for our core and our shoulders. So similar to the shoulder push-up exercise we did, we're gonna start with our hips up in the air, and we're gonna push our weight forward over our hands. So forearms down, feet a little wide, butt in the air. Shove your weight forward over your forearms. Push yourself back up in the air. Between the shoulder push-ups and now these, those shoulders should definitely be feeling it. Oh, I was really hoping that was eight, guys.
Guys, that's seven and nine. We're almost there. We only have two Tabatas left. Just enough time to squeeze it in. Take that breather. Andy, you just got scoop out of the pond. <laughs> yeah, our fountains are shut down, so the feeders are full though, so you can always fill your bottle, you just can't drink out of the fountain. It's real emergency, go drink out of the sink. So we are gonna be on our back. We've been going legs, it's upper body to core. So this next one's gonna be a core exercise. It is gonna be a full sit up. If you have difficulty doing the full sit up, just do a crunch. Maybe you start with full sit ups and you have to change to a crunch. 10 seconds guys. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't arc into your low back on these. Don't snap yourself up and compress your spine. If you run out of the strength to pick yourself up, like I said, go to a regular crunch and just flex the abdominal wall. Don't start snapping yourself up. It's almost seem easy after everything else we've done. But I wasn't gonna say that. I'm not complaining, Wayne. I'm not complaining. I'm a little bit oxygen deprived right now, so. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Come in. At least uh, Wednesday's class. Well, that was an eight. <laughs> My brain thought it was. Maybe more my abs thought it was. Oh, that was 
was eight. Guys, we're on the final stretch. We're gonna take this last little breather. I'm gonna finish off the cardio round. This is that chance where you look inside yourself and decide how much gas you got left in the tank. So you can serve a little bit, push yourself on your cardio round. Are you out of gas? Well, pick a little lower impact exercises to do to finish off strong. But regardless, finish with some gusto. Challenge yourself to the end and get the most out of your workout today. I think Wayne said he's gonna finish off the burpee round. <laughs> oh, that wasn't you, was it? <laughs> it wasn't me either. <laughs> Here it is, 10 seconds, get ready. Woo! We're gonna empty the tank now. Let's push. One. Remember the goal, empty the tank. That's three. Six guys, two rounds left. Last round. Right. Woo! 
All right, you guys, we did it. Hopefully you join me in the gas tank empty. Hopefully you're finished. I'm actually deprived a little dizzy right now, to be honest. But I want to thank everybody that came today on and off the screen for working hard. And I want to thank all you guys at home for working hard. Go get some sugar water in you. Get your blood sugar back up. You guys worked hard. Fill your gas tank. Till next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye.